Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have done this uh, modeling till here. Let's continue with the rest part of this modeling. So very first of all, uh, let's create this uh, box over here. So just push it up a bit. So we can just uh, increase its width, push till here. So let's go into this front view and let's go into this line take a rectangle and rendering enable in viewport and make it as a rectangular a bit make it thinner so let's go on to the top view and push it till here so Keep this till here, push this here, shift and drag it down to make a copy of it. So you can just save the file. The same way we are going to create this uh, again over here. So take a rectangle over here and draw it over here, <coughs> increase its uh, thickness a bit, push this down, keep this over here. Convert to editable poly. So let's give some loop over here. Let's give some uh, two connects. I think this uh, one loop is sufficient for it. Uh, no, it's okay. We'll just uh, join this over here. So select this polygons and just bridge it. Select this and this and bridge it to just close that particular shape over here. So you can just select this all and just change the color of it. So now for this stuff over here, again let's take a box over here let's take a box the box is covering the maximum of the area just scale it so you can just uh, advertise those stuff Now, what we can do over here is like, can just scale it a bit smaller. So you can just uh, push this up a bit over here. change the color so we have some uh, posters and banners that can be uh, easily 
applied over here so as you can see we can just easily apply this stuff over here so uh, we are going to use the box over here so let's take a box and use it with the auto grid So just select this and let's take it as a 90 degree over here. Let's set it to the 90 degree. Let's set it to the 90 degree over here. Rotate it over here. Rotate it to uh, 90 degree. So use a angle snap toggle to 90 degree, activate it, press E and shift it and just make a copy of it and you can just place it uh, wherever you require it in the best way. Now as you can see over here uh, we have to design this uh, chairs over here so we are going to use the line tool over here that's into the shape so let's take a line tool and let's create the chairs over here so I can easily use a line tool over here for creation of the chairs and what I can do over here is like so we are going to reduce the uh, we are going to reduce the length and width of this particular stuff so you can just reduce the width of this chair and let's go into the vertex and let's give a bit of fillet to it that's it so let's go into this again take a line tool let's take a line tool over here you can scale it let's take a line tool and just drag it over here and let's make this uh, as a radial and use a fillet over here again so you can use a fillet to give it more round so you can go into the vertices you can just push it up as you want it as whatever style you require it you can get that shape so push this to one side and let's just duplicate it to the other end select this all and let's give the basic color over here so as you can see uh, yeah, we can just shift this to more down a bit so that would be much uh, much better so just save your file so we can just duplicate this uh, stuff over here so you can off this and you can duplicate it with this mirror copy it and you can just place it over here so we do have a banner over here so you can just copy this stuff over here so that's going to be a part of your texture which you are going to create over here that's it so you can just increase the size of it Alright, so again.
again make a copy one more copy uh, reduce the size of it just push this push it a bit down select this and give the color so you can just uh, scale this down a bit more So save the file so you can just take a line over here go on to this view uh, of this auto grid and place the line over here push it over here and into this line make it as a rectangle and increase its width over here and reduce this just rotate it that's it so vertex and push this over here so push it over here till here press shift and drag it to make a copy of it alright so let's select it and just give base color so save the file so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial